Currently, I'm in the process of uh, fixing these ridges that uh, you can see along the arm here and particularly along his chin. His chin got kind of distorted. Some places it almost looks cool, but uh, certainly it wasn't in the sculpture that way. But uh, these ridges here are a problem. So I've tilted the guy about like this inside the, the printer so that uh, he has more supports back here. Hopefully that will fix any wobble that might have caused that. Uh, I also put some, re some uh, release on the plastic film that, that comes up so there's not like a sticking or something that may have caused that. I hope that fixes it. Also exaggerated some of the details a bit. Of course, uh, that doom ass, you know, you gotta have that doom ass. I think I probably worked on that more than any well, part ass. of any part of this sculpture. We just gotta get that doom ass just right, you know. But uh, yeah, no, I'm pretty pleased with him. He's uh, it's a lot of fun. Kind of fun to also do my dad's logo like that too, you know. So it's got a lot more supports up the back. So I'm hoping that stabilizes it enough. And I also just really push that detail out. So hopefully that's going to show more. And I also added a lot more of these supports under the chin to make sure that I don't lose any of the detail. Check down these teeth. Just, I had lost some of these teeth before because there was not enough of these supports in there to make them work. He looks a bit better. Fingers crossed. Yeah, in a way, I'm kind of glad, though, it messed up, because if it would have come out, like, absolutely perfect, I probably wouldn't have gone back into ZBrush and popped all the yeah. details, which I think you just lose some in the printer, so. Mm -hmm. Large file for print. There you go. Let's do it. I made a couple of changes. So I, I tilted him back because of all those ridges in his shoulder and his face. So he's now leaning back, you know, so it's not directly straight up and down. Theoretically, that's gonna give more supports on his back. Hopefully that will, you know, keep him from wobbling as he's printing and, and, and keep uh, those unfortunate lines out of it. Worst case scenario, what I'll do is probably uh, break him up into pieces so it doesn't have to print so tall. Uh, the other thing is, is I was actually, even though it's a very tall print, it's 13 inches in theory, it just doesn't feel like 13 inches, you know? I think I just wanted him to be 13 inches tall at his head, you know? And then his hands were just extra. So I may have to consider breaking him up into parts and, and, uh, and, and making him taller. But uh, it's all sort of a, you know, it's a mystery. Here, there's so much can go wrong. But that's a challenge, you know? So a good friend of mine, one of the top sculptors in Hollywood, Norman Cabrera, is working on a top secret movie that he wanted to come over and talk to me about some ideas he had for it. And uh, he wanted to bring his sculpture over for his project. So, uh, and work on that. So that gave me motivation to get into sculpt, starting to sculpt this guy. He's still super duper rough, but uh, I'm uh, recreating the demon from the front of the Doom cover art that my father did. And so I've always wanted to make a mask of this guy. Norman motivated me to get busy with that. So I'm gonna work on that for a little bit. Of course, I have to have the eyes looking over to the side because that's just the way it is. One of the other things I decided I'm gonna do, much to Norman's disapproval is, I just wanna 3D print these teeth. I'm just gonna just make a whole plate full of different size teeth and print those up, spend five, four or five hours printing those and then have a sweet set of teeth and just stick them in here. These are just placeholders while I go because it'll just be easier and it'll look more awesome when I'm done. You know, I've searched and I've searched. There's, you know, I, su supposedly John Romero posed for this. 
you know. For the for the doom for, guy. For, for the doom guy. Yeah, that's what that that's what Romero claims. I know that my my dad hired a, a bodybuilder, but apparently the bodybuilder wasn't striking the pose right. Mm-hmm. So John apparently said like this, and, and my dad supposedly took a picture of him. I've searched and I've searched. If I could find that, that would be like I would rule the internet for like a month with that with that one, you know. And one of the other reasons I had to make his head kind of big was because his head, if you look at these guys' head from the side, they look really flat, right? So they look, they don't have a tall look. So when I first started sculpting him, I kind of just had his head sort of stop naturally where the the head, back of the head was, but then his head looked too, um, like tall. He just looked like he had a big brainiac head. So I had to build it out in the back and then take this down as far as I could. So it has that flat sort of square feel here. Hey, internets. Me and me and Russia here. We're gonna make the Doom movie to end all Doom movies if we can get your support. So, like you know, give a thumbs up for you know or the idea of us making a Doom movie because uh, we haven't had a proper Doom movie, that's for sure. Doom deserves deserves so much more from a, from from film than it's deserve than it's gotten so far. It's you know. Yeah, this is fun. I mean, working on all this Doom stuff is, uh, you know, uh, always exciting to get back into to, to these characters. And, uh, you know, I really need to get back to that mastermind that we started all this with. Uh, and uh, I think that's, I think between this and my mask, see, the reason I couldn't work on the mastermind anymore, to be honest, is I gotta get off the computer. It's just, I needed a break work, I mean, all day. You know, my job all day here. I just had to get up and get, you know, do things old school, make something with my hands, you know? So that's fun. That's a good break for my mind. Uh, but yeah, I need to get that mastermind done. But it's just a matter of uh, time. It's the enemy of all.